lecture two on Fourier series and it's on piecewise functions. Uh, he just did a, couple, uh, a few more examples as well, uh, maybe one, maybe two, but because they're very long it took up a lot of the lecture, but, so there's not a lot to go through here. I'll save some examples for Easter as well. For the uh, right, the definition first, we have a, a function is piecewise continuous if, well, first of all, if we have a function that go, uh, and it's bounded a, b, so like this we have a and b, it's piecewise continuous if it's continuous everywhere except for a few points, so finitely many points, and also the limits have to exist. So say, this, this is an example of a piecewise continuous function. Uh, I'm just thinking, say we had a function 1 over n, and uh, n is any integer. And we were finding any positive integer, for example. We were finding the limits uh, uh, minus 2, 1. And minus 2 doesn't exist as a limit, so that's not piecewise continuous. Uh, see, see here, this is actually the same point, it should, well, the way I've drawn it anyway, it should be. Um, because this, it does does actually stop, but it, it, it starts again down here, so it's continuous everywhere except finitely many points, so here it isn't, but it starts again here, so that's fine. see that very well. Uh, right, now this one's uh, piecewise smooth, this was the second one, uh, and a function is piecewise smooth if first it is piecewise continuous, and secondly, yeah, you can find the derivative anywhere. Uh, another thing that he showed us as well, which I've just stuck on here, it was mainly from t next lecture, but uh, he said that if you find, if you have your limit, you know, a, b, and you find what b goes to uh, from uh, the negative side and what a goes to from the positive angle and you subtract them and you divide it by 2, this tells you what it converges to. So uh, an example he used was if you have f of x and uh, it's 0 between minus pi uh, is less than t is less than 0 and t between uh, 0 is less than t is less than pi. Uh, if we have b, which is our bigger one, and we go into that from the negative, we're getting to t uh, here. And if we get uh, the other one over here, no, we're not getting to t, sorry, we're getting to pi. And if we're getting uh, f of a from the positive, that's going that way. So it gets us, from the, that's, yeah, that's going that way. So that gets us to zero. So we have uh, pi minus zero over two. So the limit uh, it converges to pi over two. And this is an example of a piecewise smooth function. As you can see, it's perfectly smooth, uh, and you can differentiate anywhere. If we had squiggles everywhere, it wouldn't be because you can't differentiate where there's like one of three or four lines going past. So it wouldn't be piecewise smooth. And if we had limits, say here and here then it's a uh, piecewise continuous, which is what we need.